Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox, and last time we looked at the crater update where the craters got much, much better. Very, very happy about that. But I'm kind of curious what this looks like for gas giants. Uh, do we get any noticeable changes if we throw something massive at Jupiter? Like so, let's go ahead and get Saturn and just... Or actually, no, we'll do Neptune, something a little bit smaller, just, just to make it a little bit more noticeable if there's a crater shape. Uh, and let's go ahead and let it hit Jupiter and see what happens. I'm sorry, Jupiter. It's just not your lucky day. Imagine someone like stabs you when that's what they say. It's just not your lucky day, kid. That would be a little bit frustrating. You know, the whole dying thing. Especially to someone being sarcastic. It's almost worse. Alright, do we have... Technically, because it's gas, I don't think we should really see... And we don't! It's not noticeable, but the question is if we remove the gas from Jupiter, will there be a crater where the impact was? Ooh, interesting question spot. Oh my god, there is! <laughs> Yay, look at that. Under the gas surface, we've got a beautiful crater there. Wow, very nice Jupiter. Very proud of you. I can almost fill the crater with water and make it look really cool. Um, see if I can successfully do that. Let me fill the crater. Is it just taller? Oh, it's like taller than the rest. Alright, it displaced it, let down a lot of uh, material when it impacted, so it's actually higher. Um, that's to be exposed. Oh, Jupiter looking real good. Let's go ahead and give Jupiter a little bit of a makeover, right? Let's go ahead. Oh, that's a lot of colors. Let's just go to custom. We'll go ahead and make the middle like green. Oh, Jupiter looking so good. Oh my god, it's like livable. Fantastic. Ju I mean, it's super, super large still. Um, total water mass. Let's go over to atmospheric mass. Let's just go over and put the surface t pressure to one atmosphere. Oh my god. Look at Jupiter looking so nice. <laughs> what a fantastic planet. Fantastic. Ah. If we actually made it like the size of one Earth, it would be like perfectly terraformed. Look at it. What a beauty. What a perfect beauty right here. Average surface temperature. Let's bring it up to 20. Oh. Why did that make it colder? Whoops. Uh, I'll turn it... Oh. Oh. Oh, that looks pretty good. Whoa, wait, wait. I want to make it cool. Oh, look at how good it looks. Jupiter, I've accidentally terraformed you and you actually look fantastic. Okay, it wasn't really that accidental. But at the same time, like, I'm very happy with how this turned out. You can turn on city lights. We've got, like... Oh, we've got alien civilization on Jupiter. They're all confused about the massive crater. They're going to study that forever. We'll go ahead and do a custom atmosphere color and a custom cloud color so that you can actually, like, see them. Ooh, ooh, here we go. Cloud color. We'll go, we'll go with white clouds. That's normal, right? That's normal. Liquid water color. We'll make the water real nice and bright. Oh, look at Look at that. Look, look at that. That is a beautiful, beautiful planet. We've we've done it together. Oh! I almost killed it, but it's looking real good. I, I like that. Jupiter, real proud of you. Now we're going to beat you up. <laughs> we're going to beat you up with Mercury because your time has come to an end, Jupiter. I'm sorry. You, uh, your free tri trial of McAfee antivirus has has expired now please pay or get hit by a meteor honestly if i was posed with this question to pay for mcafee or to get hit by a uh, planet i'd probably choose to get hit by a planet and be tortured before i would pay for mcafee <laughs> oh it hit the exact spot of the other crater that is kind of intense um <laughs> wow that's brutal that is really brutal i'm sorry jupiter Wow. Alright, there will be lots of craters now. 
Oh, jeez, look at the mountain range we've cre- Wow, it's not even a mountain range, that's just a freaking continent we've deposited on the surface. And the rest of it looks very- it's like all ripped apart now. Oh, no. Oh, those islands are really interesting, look at them. Oh, imagine how many nations we would have. Oh, boy. A lot of- a lot of sauce. Alright, well, at least it's visually interesting. Oh, and there's- there's the crater, of course. <laughs> that is quite the crater. Alright. See if anything else changed, I'm kind- Beautiful. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and use the explode tool. I'm curious if they've improved it in any way. Um, the explode tool has kind of just been- Yeah, no, it's exactly the same. I wish I had some volume to it. Like, it just, like, turns into gas. I wish, like, it was chunky. Oh, that's kind of sad. So much war- Wait, you can explode the explosion particles? That is intense. Oh my god, I just crashed the game. Oh no. Oh no, I went too small. I went too small and it crashed. Wow. That is hilarious. I destroyed the game by exploding the explosion bits. All right, let's keep that in mind. Do not explode the explosion bits. What if you explode a supernova? Very curious about what would happen there. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I've done this. I've broken the game. All right, that was nice. We uh, terraformed Jupiter. I'm curious if there's any new, of course there are new explosion simulations, um, or are they just marked new? It looks like they're just marked new. Oh, you know what we should look at because of the crater update? Uh, there were actually some really good tests for that, like the Sphere of Moons. I have a feeling this will leave a really nice amount of craters. Alright, see what happens. Come on. Oh, they're getting real close. I'm making Earth soup. This is Earth. Oh wow, the uh, like gas looks much better. They must have updated that. It looks much, much more convincing and real. Um, I don't know if that was this update or a previous one, but it looks really good. Although my 3090 is struggling, um, probably more my CPU than my 3090, but. Uh, we are getting a little bit of struggle sauce here. Look at the cloud! Oh my god, yeah, this is definitely 100% different. Like, this is way, way more soupy. But it looks really good, it's just very laggy. Like, holy guacamole, that is a lot of lag. Wow. It looks really cool, though, with all this, like... Wow, that is, okay, scroll out, I think I crashed the game. <laughs> oh man, no, it's too much, it's too much. Wow, oh, oh, it came back for a moment. Um, <laughs> yay, we're back, all right. Uh, okay, I'm gonna be honest, that was really, really laggy. Uh, it looked awesome, but that is not good. <laughs> what what happened there? Okay, so let's try this. I want to see this again with all of the particles and stuff because that, that looked really cool. It was just way too much. It, it just it couldn't handle it. So let's go ahead and add like a bunch of moons around the earth and see what happens. Like I want to see that same... Oh, is the game just like broken now? Yeah, it is. Everything is like super- Oh, we're gonna have to restart it again. That's awful. <laughs> I can't believe this. So here's the thing. Um, I'm assuming memory leak because it's sticking around like that, but like in with a Unity game, there really shouldn't be uh, memory sticking around like that because there's a garbage collector. So I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe there's just objects in the background that weren't deleted slash recycled properly. That's probably the bigger thing because it, it seemed to be using up my CPU cycles even after we switched simulations. So it's all right. We'll hopefully 
whatever is causing the lag is fixed. But it did look so cool. So, coolness points. Let's go ahead and get our cool moons and see if we can... Yeah, look, it's so fluffy compared to before. I, I'm gonna be, like, completely honest here. Like, the particle effects are so much better. Um... They look, they have volume to them, that they, they had volume before, but it's like way more volume. Um, it just looks more convincing, but at the same time, uh, it is not very optimized. <laughs> uh, not very optimized at all. It's having a lot of issues, even with this small amount small small amount it's given me some trouble and it could be just that my graphics card is just so new that it, the drivers oh god i don't want to sound like i'm flexing i'm i'm not trying to flex here i'm just legitimately saying there is the potential that it's because my drivers aren't new enough but um there's thing like this because this will let out a lot yeah look at that Oh no, the colors seem to change a bit more. It seems to blend better. Um, I'm very happy with it. It looks good, even if it's laggy. <laughs> and it's not meant to be mean. I'm just being legitimate. Hmm, let's give this one a try again and see if we do it on a slightly faster simulation speed, if we can kind of push through. I mean, it looks so, so good. Um, it really looks amazing. Look at that. That looks absolutely phenomenal, but unfortunately, it doesn't really matter how it looks. If Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I, we, we cannot handle this. It's, it's too much sauce. We can look at it from afar. From very afar. Um, alright. I have to figure out a way to make that work. It looks so good, but you know what? I'm gonna be honest. The Fluffy Nix looks amazing. Poorly optimized, but looks amazing. So I want to do more with it in the future. Uh, Supernovas maybe were revved uh, as well, but we'll look into Star Explosions next time to see if our uh, update gave us anything cool there. But. Thank you all for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you didn't enjoy, like it as well to give me the effort to make a better video in the future. And I will see you all next time, my fellow Vuperians. Oh, and subscribe to see more. Yes.